Dynex manufactures many pumps and valves that offer proven performance at pressures greater than 8,000 PSI or 560 bar. At pressures that great, it is necessary that connections in the system be properly assembled and be of the correct design. We want to take this opportunity to illustrate the design features as well as the proper assembly of coned and threaded type of connections. But before we talk the details of the coned and threaded connection, allow us to take a couple of moments to offer some details about other options used in high pressure applications. One of the most commonly understood and recognized connections in the industry is National Pipe Thread or NPT. An NPT connection requires the addition of some element such as pipe dope, a liquid sealant, or Teflon tape. Many people choose this as the easiest addition to the fitting to make it liquid tight. This has to be applied to the fitting before it's inserted into the cavity to complete the connection. A major disadvantage of an NPT connection and a reason why Dynex has moved away from it in many cases is that an NPT connection needs to be torqued until multiple threads are actually deformed along the length of the fitting. This means if the fitting is loosened and then retorqued more than a couple of times, the threads and the integrity of the entire fitting could be compromised. As a superior option to NPT, Dynex offers British Standard Parallel or BSPP connections. These connections are superior because they do not require the addition of Teflon tape or any other kind of liquid sealant. Rather, a elastomer o-ring, which is contained within the fitting itself, provides sealing of the liquid to keep it within the system. A coned and threaded connection can withstand extremely high pressure. The sealing within the connection occurs by a metal to metal interference fit. A metal tube is forced into a coned surface at the heart of the cavity. The tube has a collar threaded around it which is retained in the cavity by a gland torqued to the value recommended by the fitting manufacturer. An unusual but a necessary feature of a coned and threaded connection is the addition of a weep hole drilled into the cavity and perpendicular to the center line of the tube. If this coned and threaded connection were not properly installed and assembled, some fluid might leak past the metal to metal coned surface. This fluid could enter the cavity and create a pressurized condition behind the gland. The weep hole will allow any fluid that leaked within the cavity to safely exit and not create an unsafe condition. The recommended assembly for a coned and threaded connection begins with adding the collar to the threaded end of the metal tube. The threading is reversed from what would normally be expected on a fastener or a more traditional fitting. The collar should be threaded onto the tube until one or two threads is visible beyond the collar. Insert it into the cavity, add the gland to retain the connection together. The gland should be torqued to a recommendation offered by the fitting manufacturer. This particular size of fitting should be torqued to 55 foot-pounds. We hope this explanation helps you successfully apply Dynex product in some very high pressure applications. Dynex pumps have benefited applications worldwide for over 50 years. Customers rely on Dynex proven performance and trusted service.